We've just got to Yanagawa. It's a town that's known as the Venice of Japan because it's got lots of waterways and in pictures it looks really picturesque. We're going to go on a boat trip and have a look around the town. Wow, those boat guys were waiting for us. <laughs> They're right as you come out the station. They've got a shuttle bus that takes you to where you can go on the boat trip. And they've got a slip with all the information in English. That was a really short trip. You could definitely walk it. It was only about five minutes, really. We sort of got funneled into the bus as we came out the station. <laughs> they pounced on us. Trip. There's an eel restaurant. Eel is a local speciality here in Yanagawa. Well, that was a nice punting trip. It was very relaxing. It was about an hour long, and the driver, the punter, <laughs> did a commentary. It was all in Japanese, so we couldn't really understand it. I could sort of pick out words. He was talking about the buildings that you could see and all the flowers. At one point, he said, Konohana wa nandesu ka? Shiranai, which means What's this flower? I don't know. <laughs> and he sang some songs for us. And one of the songs was about the rain falling. Another one was about a rabbit, as far as I could tell. <laughs> and at one point, one of the Japanese um, people on the boat said, oh, natsukashi, which is what you say when something is nostalgic. Natsukashi. <laughs> we could see into the back gardens of lots of people who live along the waterways <laughs> so they don't get a lot of privacy but they look like they had very nice gardens. One woman was hanging up her washing. <laughs> the boat trip's one way so they drop you off at the end and you can either get a bus back uh, but we're going to walk to see a bit more of the town and maybe pick up something to eat along the way. Along the way we saw the we spotted a drain, a drain cover. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's got the um, the boat on it with the guy punting. We saw a lot of different buildings on the way and it was kind of a mixture. We saw a lot of really old Japanese houses and also some more industrial sort of warehouses because this is a town where people live and all normal everyday life things going on as well as being very pretty. But I think even when the buildings are kind of shabby and run down they still look really picturesque and even if the gardens aren't really neat they still look really nice well, and we also spotted a turtle in the water these alleyways are really quiet and peaceful there's a school over there there's another one 
We just picked up some snacks from the convenience store. I've got this something no tsubu men. I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks like some sort of mochi. Oh, something new to try. Let's so have a plain rice ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dinner time soon. Going to spoil the fun. This is mochi with red bean paste in the middle and it's got whole red beans in the mochi as well. The mochi itself I don't think it's got any flavouring, it's not actually sweet, but it's just got the chewy texture. I've got to say, all the mochi I've had in Japan, even this from the convenience store, has been a lot better than mochi I've got in packets in the UK, which are kind of a bit dry and lifeless. <laughs> this is a bit more fresh tasting, even though it's not fresh, it's from a packet. This is where the shuttle bus dropped us off for the boat tour. And then we went over that bridge and got on the punts just across the river. Well, we've seen quite a bit of Yanagawa on that walk back. We started off going through a really quiet area where people live. <laughs> it felt like we shouldn't be there in a way. And then we were partly walking along the side of the water. And then for the last part, we were walking alongside the road and we saw all the normal sort of everyday shops in their high street. So if you are walking back, it is worth using Google Maps because it's not always obvious which way to go. It's been about a 40 minute walk. We walk quite fast. So if you're strolling, it might take a bit longer than that. As we've been walking along, we've seen all really everyday shops like um, the car mechanic, a green grocer and just everyday day-to-day -day things and it makes me realize that places like this are nothing like Tokyo <laughs> and probably most of Japan is completely different to what you see in Tokyo so if you've only been there there's a whole lot more of Japan to explore which isn't crazy Japan that you hear about on the internet it's just people living their normal everyday lives. By the way, if you like my dress, it's my Katia's dress, it's my own design and you can get it from my website cakeswithfaces.co.uk or cakeswithfaces on Etsy. I'll put the links in the description. We're going back now and if you want to come here, the ticket we got was the Dezaifu Yanagawa sightseeing pass and that included a return trip on the train and the train between Yanagawa and Dezaifu as well as the boat trip and that was just under 3,000 yen per person. You can do the two places in whichever order you like and if you want to see more about Dezaifu that's in a separate video on my channel. Thank you.